after 2195 days and 33 consecutive wins novak djokovic finally suffered defeat in an australian open match in the semi finals of the 2024 edition he lost to italy's yanek sinner and the scoreline was 6-1 6-2 6-7 6-3 the scoreline pretty much tells you that the first two sets were very off, uh, very one sided uh, djokovic was far away from his usual standards he made a lot of unusual backhand errors backhand is one of his best shots but he seemed to completely miss the lines or just kept on uh, smashing the ball into the net uh, he made a total of 54 unforced errors in the match almost double than that of sinner uh, this was his first ever defeat in an australian open semi final he entered the contest with a 10-0 win loss record which tells you when that whenever he entered a semi final at the australian open he went on to win that semi final and he also went on to win the final the same year uh so this was a pretty huge performance from yanik sinner however if you look at the recent meetings this should not come as a surprise because last year these two faced each other thrice in the space of uh, uh two weeks in november yanik sinner beat him in the group stage of the atp finals uh djokovic got his revenge by beating him in the summit clash however sinner again beat him this time from match points down in the davis cup semi final and uh, that was a pretty significant victory as italy went on to win the title at the same time there were concerns that all those matches were best of 3 sets how would sinner stand up to the task of beating djokovic in a best of 5 ma- uh, sets match and sinner started off brilliantly he his service game was absolutely amazing he won 83% of his first serve points he never really gave uh, djokovic a sniff djokovic had zero break points this has never happened to djokovic in a grand slam match in his career he had zero break point opportunities so sinner won the first two sets and he had the chance to win the match in straight sets as well he had a match point in the third set tie breaker but he made a four, forehand error and djokovic ended up winning that set now their first grand slam meeting was at the 2022 wimbledon where sinner was up by two sets to love this this memory could have come back uh, into his mind but he didn't let that memory uh, face him as he regathered himself and broke djokovic early in the fourth set and uh, before closing out the match so sinner is now the first italian man ever to reach the australian open final he's also the youngest uh, men's finalist since djokovic in 2008 sinner is 22 years old he's a very uh, talented player and uh, he's into his first grand slam final now let's take a look at who he faces in the final In his first ever Grand Slam final, Italy's Yannick Sinner will take on Russia's Daniel Medvedev. Medvedev reached the final after an epic comeback where he beat uh, Germany's Alexander Zverev 5-7, 3-6, 7-6, 7-6, 6-3 in in a semi-final that lasted 4 hours 19 minutes. For Zverev this was only the second time in his Grand Slam career that he lost a match after winning the first two sets uh, the previous instance being the 2020 US Open final where he lost to Dominic Thiem uh, both players came into this contest after playing some pretty long matches in the earlier rounds so they were pretty much in for the fight they knew if this went the distance they were up for it uh, 
both of them uh, have had very interesting uh, rivalry uh, the head to head record was in favor of medvedev coming into this contest he led 11-7 uh, however this was his, this was their first ever grand slam meeting they had never faced each other in a best of 5 sets match uh, after la- whatever happened last year in matches in um, monaco and cincinnati this was this was expected to be a very competitive match uh, all top players who have faced medvedev uh, they pretty much know how he plays he stands way behind the baseline uh, to make the returns uh, he is not a very aggressive player he is very metronomic uh, he makes lots of returns that's why sometimes he is referred to as the human backboard uh, however that didn't affect zverev as he came out all guns blazing just like his quarter final win against uh, carlos alcaraz he simply blew medvedev away in the first two sets as you see the score line he won the first set 7-5 second set 6-3 his forehand was firing his serve was absolutely amazing he didn't do much wrong in the third and fourth set as well i mean both of those sets went to tie break however when the pressure points came zverev made some pretty uh, unforgivable forehand errors sometimes errors with the backhand and uh, it cost him medvedev won both those sets in the tie break and by the fifth set Med- uh, zverev's forehand had completely uh, had been completely broken uh, his game just completely fell off and he could not uh, a pull off a comeback like he had done uh, in the earlier rounds uh, medvedev is into the australian open final for the third time uh, previously he has faced djokovic and uh, nadal uh, but this time uh, he faces somebody who is not a part of the big 3 so this is a good opportunity for medvedev as well as for yanik sinner or uh, they have a they have an interesting rivalry because Medvedev had won the first 6 encounters but Sinner has won the last 3 matches. So this is going to be an interesting contest and you should keep an eye on the men's final of the 2024 Australian Open.